Hello, my name is Miss Galin and I am the Acting Head of Art at the Boswell School. In this presentation, I will give you a run through of the Art and Design course and what to expect when you come to do art at the Boswell School. Firstly, we're going to look at the two year A-level Art and Design course and how it's broken up. So the course is broken up into 60% coursework and 40% external exam. The 60% coursework prepares you for the exam, so the exam is nothing for you to worry about. Within the 60% coursework, in year 12, you look at personal investigation where we choose the theme. Within this, you'll have a loose portfolio and you'll have an A3 sketchbook. Then in year 13, at the start, we'll introduce you to a learner statement. You will also have a personal investigation, but you choose the theme. Within that, you'll have an A3 sketchbook and a loose portfolio. And then at the very end of your personal investigation, we'll ask you to do a contextual study essay. This is about 4,000 words based on your chosen theme. Then we move on to the 40% external exam. So within this external exam, it will be nothing new. The only new thing will be the concept set or the theme set by the exam board. So within it, you'll have the learner statement, um, very similar to what you had done at the start of year 13. You'll have a personal investigation at the theme, again, as I said, set by the exam board and an A3 sketchbook or a few sketchbooks and a loose portfolio. In year 12, we will choose the theme for you, but every student's response to that theme will be different. Then in year 13, you will choose your own theme to develop a visual response to. The personal investigation is where you record, develop, reimagine and finalise ideas relating to your concept or theme. You would do this in A3 sketchbooks and a loose portfolio. Within your sketchbook, you will document primary and secondary sources, general research and artists. You will also complete observations and experiment with appropriate mediums to help visualise your concept. All of this will lead to plans and intentions to create a piece or pieces that resolve and showcase your understanding to your chosen theme. Here is an example of an A3 sketchbook. The following pages show how the sketchbook is being used as a way in which to document research and intentions, while also recording a process and different techniques. For us, one of the most important things in A-level art is experimentation. So a big thing to expect is your introduction to a variety of different practices and techniques. Techniques such as painting, batik, photography, printmaking, collage, image and text and 3D sculpture. The reason why we experiment so much is to give you an opinion and more knowledge on how to use a particular, a particular material so that you can best visualise and represent your concept. The Art and Design A-Level course is graded on the following four assessment objectives. Assessment Objective 1 looks at how you develop your ideas through artists and research relating to your chosen theme. The examiner is looking to see your understanding of this research and its purpose in your work. Assessment Objective 2 looks at how you explore this research through a variety of mediums and techniques. Assessment Objective 3 is similar to Assessment Objective 2, but it focuses on how you refer reflect and evaluate your process of making. Assessment objective four is your final piece, where you showcase a realized response based on your in-depth research and experimentation relating to your theme. This is the criteria for both coursework and the exam. The art department has subject and medium specific spaces to facilitate our A-level students through their two year art course. We have allocated A-level workspaces where students can work between their art lessons. There are three subject specific art rooms in the department, along with a kiln room, dark room and printing workspace.
thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to drop me an email at egn at boswells-school.com and I can answer any queries or questions that you might have. Take care. Bye now.